So we have one of our runners ready and now let's create the hair class. It's going to be very similar to the turtles class that we created in the previous video. So again, our hair class will be public and it will inherit from the runner. So this means that the hair will have all the same variables and methods available to him as the turtles class have because they both inherit from the same runner class. So just like the turtles, I'm going to initialize some of the variables in the constructor and pass some values as arguments. As you can see, this is pretty much identical to the constructor of the turtles class. And that's because we coded everything in such a way that we can be as abstract as possible with as little things hard coded as possible. So we have the current position, the lane, the runner symbol, which is H for the hair. We have the name and we have the same move description that is uh, displayed for the hair when the race starts. And we are adding the hair class to the all runners list. And again, we are using this keyword to pass the class of hair into the uh, list. And now all that is left is to override the calculate move method. Obviously the hair calculates moves differently than the turtles, so we need to use a different ranges. However, the logic is the same. We first get the random number from 1 to 100, which we'll do by calling the get move type method. So this is the same call we made for the turtles class. Basically we just get the random number returned and store it into a variable called move. And now we can evaluate the number and simulate the percentages for the hair moves. So first, the hair should sleep 20% of the time, so if the number is between 1 and 20, the hair will sleep and move 0 spaces. And the move description will say that the hair is sleeping. So again, if the range is between 1 and 20, that is the 20% range, we call the move type sleep, that's from the move type class that we created in the previous video, and we are moving 0 spaces because that's the integer that's corresponding with the move type sleep. And we are describing the move as the hair is sleeping and is moving zero spaces. Next, another 20% of the time, the hair should do a big hop, which is to move nine spaces forward. So in this case, if the number is between 21 and 40, that will be the percentage range for the big hop, because again, that is 20 number range. And the move description for this move type will be hair made a big hop. So here's our range between 21 and 40. We do the big hop and say hair made a big hop. Next, 10% of the time, the hair should move 12 spaces back. So to simulate the 10% range, we will assign this move when the number is between 41 and 50, because that's obviously 10 number range. The move description will simply say that the hair made a big slip. So here's our big slip. And next, we have a 30% range and that's the time that we move hair one space forward. So 30% can be simulated with the range between 51 and 80 and simple move description will say that the hair made a small hop. And finally we have 20% of the time when the hair moves two spaces back so that can be simulated with 81 to 100 range which is effectively an else in our if condition. So we call the move type small slip which represents negative 2 and we say that the rabbit or the hare made a small slip. And that's all for this class. We now have almost everything ready for the big race so all that is left to do is to wire everything together and we'll do that in the next video.